Welcome back to another retro review. We have a different world season 2 episode 21 and We um, have Dwayne Wade running for city um, city council student government president now We have Dwayne Wayne running against a young Candy Alexander right before <clears throat> We saw her on the on um, the corner before she was um, um, on scandal all these wonderful roles that we have seen her play over the years. She was running against Dwayne Wade for student government president. And Dwayne Wade is running on the issues, right? He wants to figure out a way to, to create a scholarship fund. He wants to, um, he has to, talking about raising the, the um, student fees so they can have more activities on campus. But she is talking about all the things that people who are 18, 19, 20 years old really care about, which is partying. How many parties we gonna have? How good is our homecoming gonna be? All of this good stuff, right? And so, Dwayne is getting frustrated because he really, really is running on the issues. And he really, really wants to win, obviously, but he really wants to help improve things at Hillman. And he just feels like no one's listening to him because nobody really cares about the what's important. It is also Freddie's 18th birthday, and the, the ladies are trying to figure out what are we going to give Freddie for her birthday, how are we going to help her celebrate her birthday. Every time they come up with an idea, they're like, no, we don't know, you know, we got, you know, all these great things. Now, Freddie works down at the dean's office, which, you know, we remember, and she saw some um, correspondence about a Jackson party coming to Hillman, and of course, they automatically assume the Jacksons, Michael Jackson, or the Jacksons, or Lato even the poor Ron was even thinking Latoya Jackson. And it's funny because I just, once again, you just think back like this was before Michael Jackson died, right? That they think that the Jacksons are coming to Hillman. Um, now, Colonel Taylor asked Dwayne, he said, Listen, they're coming to clean my carpets. Carpets, I need somebody at the house. Can you go hang out at the house for me while you know, because I got something else I have to do. And Dwayne was like, oh my goodness, like, you trust me in your house by myself? He was like, I trusted you with my daughter. And the same rules apply. Don't touch anything. <laughs> I thought it was cute. So Dwayne is um, at the house, fooling around, you know, doing what people do when you left alone in somebody's house, you know, looking through the knickknacks and stuff, and there's a, some, there's a knock at the door. Dwayne assumes it's the carpet cleaners. And it's not. It's some Secret Service looking guys. You know, they got the big old phones because back then that's what we had, the phones. And they were like, you know, the perimeter is clear and this, that, and the other. And in come the door and in walks in Jesse Jackson. And Dwayne was like, you know, you look just like Jesse Jackson. He was like, because cause I am. He was like, no, you're not. You're not Jesse Jackson. You're here to clean the carpets. Like, first of all, he was dressed in a suit. So, like, you know he ain't really there to clean nobody's carpets. But it was cute. And Colonel Teller comes through. Colonel Teller was like, you weren't supposed to be here till, um, until tomorrow. And come to find out, Colonel Teller and Jesse Jackson, on for the purposes of the show, grew up together. They're old friends. They know each other, you know. And that's the Jackson party that's coming to Hillman. He's coming to Hillman to speak. And, um, in the meantime, the ladies, they done bought a zero on their rehearsing book for Freddie. That Freddie already went and just bought herself, you know. Don't you hate people like that? When you're trying to figure out the perfect gift to give them and then they end up going out and buying it. I just did that to my niece, child. I've been wanting the Apple Watch. And she was going to get it for me for Christmas. And I just bought myself one. I said, girl, I could take it back. But anyway, another conversation, another day. So, um, Ron is trying to convince Dwayne that he is going to have to lighten up. He's going to have to lighten up. If he wants to win this election, he is going to have to come up off of being so serious and talking about the issues. He was like, listen, you my boy and I love you, but uh, if we weren't friends, I wouldn't be voting for you. Like, 
I hear you. I know you have some great ideas, but you are going to have to come up with something different because this ain't working. And Dwayne is like, listen, if I can't win running on the issues, then I just don't want to run. Like, I don't want, if this ain't how I, I, I I'm not going to, I'm not going to do this, you know? Now, Dwayne decides that he's going to drop out of the race, right? He's at the dorm and he's telling Ron, that he, you know, he, I mean, he told Ron he's going to drop out of the race. Here come Miss Candy Alexander, honey, with a whole choreographed song about voting for her and how they're going to have the slam in his homecoming. And that was sort of like the last straw for Dwayne. He was like, you know what? I can't, I can't compete with this. Like, all they care about is that she can sing, she can dance, and she want to have a great homecoming. I'm done with it. So he's back at the um, dorm, taking down all his campaign material and stuff like that. Ron comes through. And Ron was like, you know, well, I'm glad I caught you. You know, you sitting here, you know, feeling sorry for yourself. You know, I, I, I got something that's going to help us win. And Dwayne was like, what? Child Ron done went and made posters of him, Jesse Jackson, and Dwayne holding hands, talking about... And y'all have seen that poster before. It is a very famous, you know... Um, um, it's a very famous um, different world piece of paraphernalia that poster of the three of them right and when of course the minute that Dwayne sees it he is like you gotta be kidding me like I they just went from bad to worse and of course Dwayne once again Ron don't say that he did anything wrong he was like listen I'm just trying to help you win now mind you in the meantime Dwayne has Ron has hung these up all over campus I mean all over campus so Dwayne goes to um, Colonel Taylor's house. He knows that's where Jesse Jackson is staying. And he goes to Colonel Taylor's house and he goes to apologize to Jesse Jackson. He was like, listen, I just want you to know that I ain't had nothing to do with this. This was an overzealous supporter who thought they were helping me out. So I just want you to know that, you know, I would never misuse your image. I would never assume, you know, like this wasn't coming from me. And I've tried to take down as many as I could, but it is what it is. And Jesse Jackson was like, okay, well, I mean, for the sake of argument, what were our issues? What were we, what, what was our platform, you know? And Dwayne was like, listen, it doesn't even matter anymore. I'm, I'm quitting, you know, I'm dropping out of the race. These people don't care about the real issues and, you know, I'm doing all I can do. And Jesse Jackson was like, okay, well, you sound like me the first time I ran. And he said, you know, I was the president of North, when I was at North Carolina a and I was a student government president and... You know, the first couple of times I ran for different offices, like, they laughed me out the room. He was like, but the key is just, you have to stick with it. Like, if you really truly believe in what you're running on, everybody may not be with you at the beginning. But you, your job is to continue to present the issues, and people will eventually, you know, they'll eventually warm up to you. He said, but if you're willing to quit just because things get a little bit rough for you, and he said, then, you know, then this, maybe this isn't for you. Maybe this, maybe this isn't your, your, your calling, you know. And Dwayne was like, you know, I hear what you're saying. Okay, that's cool. You know, I hear what you're saying. So Dwayne decides he's going to stay in the race. Now, on the flip side, we have Letty and the ladies getting ready to go hear Jesse Jackson speak. And Letty is telling the ladies to calm down, stop being all, going crazy. You know, it's Jesse Jackson. Oh, I didn't drop my... Um, you know, it's Jesse Jackson. Stop being crazy or whatever. And in the meantime, Letty tell... <laughs> <laughs> she's speechless because Jesse Jackson actually comes, um, Colonel Taylor actually brings him by the dorm to speak to Letty. But then Jesse gives a speech, and once again, A Different World hits, it shows that the show just doesn't get old. The outfits, maybe, the music, okay, the slang, all right, whatever, but the, the, the issues never get old. Jesse Jackson gave probably, like, this wonderful, wonderful speech about voting and about the sacrifices that were made for us to vote and about he gave he broke down the numbers um and he talked about how the last i think he said six presidents were all um elected by less than three million votes so when people say your vote doesn't count you realize that your vote really does count you know you realize how important your vote really is and i was just thinking to myself this speech once again it is still valid today the words are still valid today, especially right now when we're getting ready to vote in this very, very important election. And so once again, different world, y'all did it again. I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, if this wasn't a show for you, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.